Hi, my name is Olivia Johnson and I write the blog Bobbles to Bubbles. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a DIY painted nightstand. I'm actually in the process of moving out right now so I've been busy decorating my new room and this nightstand actually belonged to my grandma and I thought it would be the perfect piece to refurbish in my new bedroom. This project was actually really easy to complete and I only needed a few materials. Everything I got was from Sherwin-Williams. I got a sanding sponge, a 2 inch paint brush, latex primer to do all my priming, and then an acrylic latex high gloss paint and I got it in the color exuberant pink. I wanted something really colorful and bold. That was so I didn't film this step, but what you actually have to do first is completely clean off the piece of furniture that you're going to be painting, and then you have to sand it. So the sanding doesn't have to look perfect when you're done. I still had a few patches of wood showing, but as long as everything feels smooth, then you're good to go to start priming. And what I'm doing here is just priming all the drawers and the actual nightstand itself. And you only have to do one coat of priming, um, and that should cover everything up, especially because this was a cream-colored nightstand. And then I just let this sit overnight, and then I painted it the next day. And another trick to do while you're painting um, anything with knobs on it is to put a piece of tape over the hole where you took the knobs out, so then no paint goes through into the drawers while you're painting. It's really important to take the drawers out while you're painting and priming because you don't want the paint to make the drawers stick together and then it'll chip the paint and you won't be able to get anything open. So make sure everything's completely dry before you put the drawers back in. As you can see here, I'm just finishing up doing all the priming in nice even coats and then I let it dry for 24 hours before I started the actual painting of the nightstand. Now this is where the fun part starts. This is where I got to actually paint the pink on my nightstand. And like I said earlier, the color was exuberant pink from Sherwin-Williams. And it's important to stir your paint before you start so all the color gets spread out evenly. Sometimes it can build up at the bottom and your paint will go on unevenly. So this part of the process was actually really fun to speed up while I was editing because it's not as boring sped up and it's just fun to watch something get painted. And as you can see I'm doing long even strokes and I went with the green. You want to paint evenly because it'll dry that way too so you don't want it to look uneven because it'll dry that way and it's very obvious. So I just did long, nice strokes, and then I went back and touched up any spots that needed to be touched up again. And I actually had to do two coats of pink. Um, the first coat had some white streaks in it. I don't know if I didn't stir it well enough or what, but it is good to do two coats of any colored paint to really just make the color pop. And as you can see here, I'm just finishing up all the drawers, and I let this nightstand sit 24 hours each time I did a coat of paint. Um, I just wanted it to dry completely and look even when it was done. So it was really hard to wait, but it was definitely worth it. So for the knobs, I went to Hobby Lobby and I actually used these knobs on another dresser I got, so it was perfect. I'm not sure what they're called, but they have them at every Hobby Lobby, and they're just really eye-catching and sparkly, and I thought they would go really well with the bright pink nightstand. And this is the final product. Um, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I never thought it would actually look this good, but I love how bright and colorful the pink is, and the knobs ended up being perfect. They really stand out well against the pink and they really reflect well in the light too. So it's actually a perfect fit for my bedroom. It's just really feminine and classic which is what I was going for.